Okay, so I uh, found some volume back. So I'm thinking that those really rich, heavy, thick gels might be a little bit too heavy on my hair. When it was shorter, um, it wasn't a problem, but as the hair is getting longer and the curls are weighing down with gravity, it doesn't have that spring effect like the back ones do. The back ones are really tightly coiled, so they spring up really nicely and the hip gel works great on them. I need a lighter gel for the top. So the hair does look a little bit, but this is just conditioner. So that's why it looks like that. It's a little bit white in some places, but the back is really thick. Oh my God. So anyway, but I'm gonna talk about the water softener. Mm-hmm, let's take a look at it. Oh, there's a lot of things that I don't like about the water softener. I'm sad to say, but it's just an inconvenience on my part. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, well, the things that I don't like about it, is that, let me show you. Okay, so when the water comes out of the tap here, Okay, so when the water comes out of here, it has to go into here, then it has to fill this thing up, then it goes down into the hose, and then it comes out of here. Now, what I don't like about it is if the temperature is too hot or too cold and I adjust it, it doesn't take effect right away. I have to wait at least 30 to 40 seconds before the temperature actually changes. So, I change it here, but it takes about 40 minutes for the change to take effect because the cold water that was in prior is still going through. Do you understand that? So changing of the water is not like the greatest thing because it takes like 40 minutes to take place. So that kind of sucks. The next thing that sucks is regenerating. This part to regenerate is very tight. Um, you can't see it from there. Let me take this off. Let's see if I can. Right here, there's this thing that you regenerate it. Let me zoom in on it. Right there. This thing here, you unscrew it, right? And it's you have to do like this and let all the water run through. So you, you take the shower head off, you let it drop, all the water runs out, and then you unscrew this. And it's just so hard to unscrew. You can't just unscrew with your hands. If I could unscrew it with my hands, it might be a little bit more tolerable. But I have to have the pliers sitting here so I can take it and unscrew it. And then I put the salt water solution in here. And you gotta fill it all up. And then once the water starts coming out, you know it's full. And I gotta screw it on. And I have to take the pliers to screw it on really tight. Because if I just screw it on with my hands and I don't screw it on tight enough when I'm doing the shower, you get water spilling up from the sides, right? So you have to tighten it. So I need the pliers again. And that's, and, and another thing I don't like about it is it needs to be regenerated for me. I don't know if it's because the water is just really hard. It needs to be regenerated about every two days I gotta do it. Every two days. Every two days. So that's a pain in the butt. Like when I was in New York, I didn't have to do all that, but for me to get the soft water that I want, I have to regenerate it every two days. I take a shower at least twice a day, so morning and night. So if I went to the shower once a day, um, it may last uh, like a week. But if you have more people, you might have to do it often. Depends on how hard the water is too, right? Because we have really hard water here. So if you were somewhere in the States, maybe it's not as hard. Maybe you can go a week with it. That one is really hard to have fight after two days. I don't get that nice slippery feeling I like. So that's one of the reasons, one of the things I, I don't like about it. Um, 
Other than that, those are the only things I don't like about it. Having to regenerate it every two days. Having to unscrew this. If it was like, if it was something I could just like smooth on over and put it in. I didn't have to regenerate, but it would be just easy, right? Just really, but it's not like that. Um, and the good thing about it is, yeah, when it is soft, like the, the lather is so rich and your hands feel so slippery, you rinse it off your soap and it just feels slippery, like I'm going like this in the shower and it just feels like there's this constant slip there. The hair feels like butter, the shampoo's great, conditioner feels great, you know, it feels awesome. It really feels awesome. But it's just, the work you gotta put in, and especially if, like, I, like in the, now I'm like pretty much wet my hair, put conditioner in there and, and put a ponytail and go or whatever, right? So, you know, I noticed right away because when I wash, when I wash with the soap and the soap dries off, like rinses off really, really sort of like clean and there's this like, there's no slippery feeling, I know it's hard. I kind of like that slippery feeling. Some people don't, but I do. So, that is that. Um, you know, for 200 and something dollars. It's a lot, it's 180 bucks, right? So I think if you're living in the States, you probably won't have to pay like the shipping cost of that. Actually, but, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's great. It's great. It's just it's a lot of work. And so I keep on the side, like I bought this big bottle, and, um, I have, I have salt in the bottom, and so I just keep it here because, you know, anytime I have to take a, I know I'm going to wash my hair or something every two days in the morning, I just regenerate it and wait like half an hour. And before, this was, this kind of salt that I bought, I bought at, um, at Home Depot, and it's, uh, it's, uh, water softener salt specifically for water softeners and i have to say this makes a huge difference now i was using like just regular table salt and um it was okay it was good like i didn't know any better it was good but then when i decided to use this stuff well let me tell you i was like in love and then i did you know what i did because i didn't want to like regenerated. I opened up this, uh, the regenerator right here, like I unscrewed it, and I took small, don't do this, you're not supposed to do it, I did it, and I took small chips of these, um, salts, as you can see, they're pretty big, they're not small at all. I took the small ones, and I threw about 12 of them in here. And um, I was like, okay, well, it's going to dissolve anyway with the salt, right? So I put like 12 small chips in the tube, and then um, I was taking a shower, and I tested it with the soap, and I was like, okay, the shower was running, and I first tested with the soap, and I was like, it's hard. It's hard water. And uh, I was like, okay, whatever. And then I noticed that my skin started getting really slippery as time was going on, and I was just like... Hold up, wait a minute. So I took my cell phone, I lathered it up, and I tried to rinse it off my hand, and it just progressively got softer and softer and softer. So um, I'd probably try doing that again. But it still only lasted like two days, you know? That, that's the thing. I mean, if I could put it in there and it lasts, like, it, it only lasted two days. So, but, whatever. Like I said, it works great. If you're in the Toronto area and you want soft water, if you don't want to spend like $600, that's awesome. I did find one in the specific mall. It's it's not designed like this. It's shorter, more compact, and the salt is in there, so it regenerates it automatically. And it's a portable one, and they are selling that for a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars is a lot, but the appeal of not having to regenerate and not having to worry about you know having hard water ever is very appealing to me. I'm actually looking at webs um, wholesalers in China to see if I can buy it directly from them. I've sent, I've seen it, I've sent a, a message to the wholesaler, so I don't know if I can save a couple hundred bucks. I'm thinking it's probably about $300 wholesale, because if they're selling for a thousand, yeah, it's gonna be about 300 bucks. I'm sure I make like 200% on it, but 
all see. But that would be appealing to me, not having to regenerate. So that's all I have to say. And with the hair, that it does look a little fuller. It does look fuller. And um, I don't know if you can see this, but I am wearing. I am wearing a bikini because the bikini at the back, that's mid back right here. That's mid back and that's bra strap white. Okay, so I had to find out if my hair was growing. And I assure you, it is growing and I'm so happy now. Because the last time I did my uh, line check, I was wearing this navy blue bra and it just barely touched the very top of it. And I was like, hey, I'm a bra strap. But now it's actually longer and it surpasses the bra. So the hair is definitely growing. So let me show you where it's at and where how far away I am from um, mid back. Like I said, mid back is the bottom up. My back is here, and this is my bra, right? So, let's do this. Ah. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so my hair is about here. Right there, and my back is right here. If you can see that, let me tilt it down. Oh, see, see, this is where it is. So I'm like that far away from it. That far. Ah, uh, I'm guessing about um, four months or so. So the hair is growing, and I'm very happy. And uh, I had a lot of ladies, you know, you know, were giving me some sympathy on the fact that my hair felt like wasn't growing. And a lot of people thought it was resting, but how the hair works is when we talk about the follicle, the follicle is either in one of three stages. The follicle is either growing the hair. So hair will grow, they say, I was reading, they say your hair grows from three to six years. I would say more, it seems like two to seven. So the hair will either grow whenever, how long your hair is, it depends on my like genetics. So let's say your hair grows for four years before it sheds. So you have a follicle that will continuously, and it doesn't stop, it does it at a progressive rate, approximately around half an inch months. Some people less than half an inch, some people more than half an inch. So it'll grow continuously for four years. Now let's think about this. When you were relaxing your hair, was there a time that you did not have to relax? No, every three months, six weeks, you had a touch up because your hair was always growing. But at the same time, you're always shedding hair every day about a hundred hairs will be shed per day. So what happens is the follicle grows a hair. Okay, it grows for about four years, for example. Let's say it goes for four years. Okay, that's your growing phase. I think they, this is what the antigen phase is, right? Then the hair sheds because the four years is up. Okay, so that's the lifespan of your hair, if it's four years, let's just, that's an example, four years. So the lifespan is, it grows for four years, it sheds, that's the catagen phase. So that's the phase after it's done at set 40 years. So every four years, it'll shed, right? So your telogen phase, I hope I'm saying these right, the telogen phase is where the follicle does not produce a hair right away. It actually rests for 28 days. So no hair will grow from that follicle for 28 days. Okay, so after 28 days are gone, then a new hair will start to grow. Okay, and it will, that hair will also grow for another four years continuously, no rest, just grows continuously for four years. But because we have hairs that are shedding every day, you'll have some hairs that are resting at different times, right? So that's how it works. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. It's way past my bedtime. All right, peace out. And yeah, the hair's growing. I'm just so happy. I'm happy. Oh, I want to show you something. Hold on, guys.
So someone suggested I should try mousse. I haven't tried mousse yet, but I'm going to try mousse. And I bought a zippity, zippity, dippity doo gel. So I'm going to try this. It's much lighter gel. I find the lighter gels work better than the, like the eco style gel and those really heavy gels. Um, so anyways, I want to say something to girls who have really tightly coiled hair. Um, when you have tightly, really tightly coiled hair like I do in the back there, um, you are going to have no problems by like, keeping your curls because um, even though they weigh down, I'll show you when, when it's wet, even though it's growing, it has such a strong curl pattern. Even though it's being weighed down, it has like a beautiful curl. Like the curl is beautiful. When when you get like a larger circumference of a curl, because it's larger, it more becomes a wave. So that's what's going on at the top. I have more, it's more wave here. And then the back here is more tightly coiled. And so don't think because it's short and tightly coiled that it won't look great when it grows longer because it will it'll be gorgeous you're gonna love it you're gonna love it so when you see you got nice tight coil hair and it's short don't worry about it because when it gets longer it just has the most beautiful curls when it's long, just beautiful. i just wanted to let you know that mm, yeah 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 anyways i'm gonna bed bye